Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From The Cauldron and here is a whole load of fiber reactive dyes that I do not want to waste. I have here 75%, um, 100 grams of 75% superwash merino, 15% nylon and 10% silver stellina. It's been soaking in soda ash and water. No, it hasn't. It's been soaking in vinegar and water. And what I'm going to do is just carefully add these dyes. I want to try and create a sort of rainbow. I don't want them muddy too much. This was strawberry frappe. These are all fiber reactive dyes from Dharma. Now fiber reactive dyes start reacting as soon as they hit water. So I can't just keep these. You either use them or chuck them. And I, I do need to apologize for the light. My battery died in my, my single light that still works now. So I'm relying on the kitchen light, which isn't brilliant. Okay, this one is dragon fruit. And those two work nicely together. And next up we've got scarlet. There's quite a lot of this one. There is no heat here at the moment. Oops, making quite a bit of noise. <laughs> now I don't mind the colors spreading out and blending, but I don't want them to muddy together too much. So I'm just, why I'm being quite careful. The next up is Orange Crush. And now we've got Citrus Got Real in that corner. Not sure if you can really see it there. I'm just massaging these through to try and get it all the way through the yarn. All right, that's, that's taken up quite a lot of space. Uh, okay, this is Daffodil. <laughs> I've got another four colours to make to uh, get in that section. So. All right, Lime Pop is this one. I love this lime pop. It's one of my favorites. So just that green is gorgeous. And now we've got, uh, what's this? New emerald green. Now all this equipment I'm using is dedicated for dyeing. I don't use it for food. And um, when I weighed out these dyes originally, I did wear a mask. This is turquoise. This is gonna take over everything. Oh no. Oh man. Come back down here, turquoise. <laughs> oh gosh. I think this is gonna be a pinkish and turquoise is <laughs> what I'm guessing. Oh dear. And lastly is bougainvillea. This gorgeous purple. Oh no, do I get another yarn mop to try and get all that stuff in the middle? Uh, yes, two skeins here. I've just dunked them in under the tap. Try and soak up some of that. I can see that turquoise and purple have really spread out already. This is what happens when I don't plan and I don't have extras on hand for things like this. Oh well, hopefully it's not ruined everything. Ah. One of these days I'll be able to make dye a rainbow like this and not have it muddy and the colors spread out too much. Ah. I think what I'll have to do in the future is hand paint if I don't want this to happen because if you can see, you can see that turquoise is just spread out there and made it all muddy. And the, I don't know if you can see down here, not really, the green has spread out quite a lot as well. Right, I'm going to put the heat on. It'll help if I actually put the, the rings on and not the, the grill, which is underneath. And I need to add a bit more water. This is water that I washed my brushes off in. I just added down there and I'm gonna add some plain water up the top. Hopefully this won't turn into a huge muddy mess. Oh well, 
it is what it is and I'm going to let this heat up once it gets, uh, oh, actually I need vinegar. <laughs> I pre-soaked the, uh, the sparkly yarn in vinegar and water, but I completely forgot about the alpaca, which I'm just, just adding another three tablespoons of vinegar. Hopefully there won't be too much. Well, I can't have too much vinegar. Hopefully it'll be enough. There we go. And I'm just gonna let this heat up, let it get to a simmer and then reduce the temperature for about 20 minutes or so. This has been on the heat for about 20 minutes now. And it looks like all that dye has absorbed into the yarn, has bound to the yarn. That is a bit messy around there. That's a, that is a disappointment. But uh, one of these days, when I do a leftover dye video, I will be completely prepared with more yarn than I need. <laughs> She says, yeah, right. I don't think that's ever going to happen. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to turn this off the heat now, let it cool down, and then I can wash it. It has all completely cooled down now. Let's wash it. It looks like there is no water, not water, no colour left in that water. That's always a good sign. Oh, well, it's like, yeah, some, t some blues coming out of that one. Have a little. But that one looks okay. Okay, let's give these a rinse off. This is just cold tap water at the moment. Oh, it's very cold. Ooh. Right. I'm gonna add a little bit of washing up liquid just to try and help get rid of anything we don't want in here. I'm gonna add this to my zip tie. That way I'm not gonna start pulling everything out. There we go. Yeah, I'm still seeing a bit of blue coming out. Hopefully with these rinses, that blue will all clear up. off the zip ties and just wash this one first because it didn't look like there was any colour coming out of this. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to hang this one up to dry and let's have a little look at these. There's still a little bit of blue coming out of this. That looks like it might all be out now. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more washing up liquid just to check. And I'm going to put the plug in. Yeah, that one's definitely clear. That can go hang up to dry. It looks like there's the tiniest bit of blue coming out of this barely anything there. So I'm going to just let this soak a few times. It could be because it's alpaca that it just probably absorbs slightly differently to superwash merino. I think that's probably clear now. I'm going to still let it soak in there for a little bit anyway. Yeah, I think that's clear. But as I said, I'm going to let it soak there for a little bit and then I can hang it up to dry. And here is all of our lovely yarn. Let's have a little look at the sparkle yarn first. That turquoise did spread out and so it has blended with the orange here and the pinks here. I think it looks quite nice with the pinks. It's sort of, uh, and the reds, it's uh, sort of dulled it down, made it a really nice, um, oh, what colour would you call this? maroon-ish I think but I think it looks really nice and then in, com in contrast to the rest of the, those pinks and reds it's just added another dimension there with the orange I am a little bit disappointed uh, I don't think it has blended as well as it has here uh, 
But that was a risk that I took. And I don't think it's ruined the yarn at all. I think it's just added another dimension to this yarn. Now if we carry on around here, I'm really happy that some of that yellow got left. Yellow is usually the first colour that gets uh, taken over by other colours. So I'm really happy that there's it's only a little bit, but there is still yellow left. And those blues and greens are just gorgeous. I love that fade. And back into purple. And I think it just looks absolutely stunning, that. And I've got the, got the two little extra skeins here. One and two. Now, that was the colour they originally were. So they have taken up a lot of colour. They've taken up a lot of greens. <laughs> and they've got a really nice sort of dark green different shades of greens here. I wonder if that's quite where a lot of the yellow went. And yeah, I think these look lovely. They've taken up bits of colours. Uh, so they've we've just got little patches of pink in this one. Uh, they, there's not really, there's a tiny bit of pink in there, but it's sort of more a greyish colour in this one. This one's got nice yellows, whereas this one is mostly greens. And I think it's just a lovely arrangement of colours and uh, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to dye these uh, deliberately they sort of sucked up that yarn that yarn that um, dye and I think it looks lovely thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it do please click like and subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below let me know what you thought of this yarn this video uh, I do plan on painting a rainbow on a skein of yarn so hopefully the colours won't spread out quite like they did here but that will be another video that I haven't started yet that'll be in the future sometime but that is on my list to do uh, is there anything else that you would like to see me try on this channel leave a comment and let me know I publish a new dyeing tutorial every Monday usually around about 6 p.m. UK time so make sure you've got your t notifications turned on so you never miss a new video thank you so much for watching